How cool would it be if all you had to do was upload a piece of content and get paid a full-time income online? My name is Ted Carr and I'm a multimillionaire, school investor, and winner of the school games. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I post, where I post it, and how I post it so that by the end of this video, you can just copy me and get amazing results for yourself. Now, before I get into the step-by-step -step strategy of how this all works, you've gotta understand the number one root cause of a failure to execute, a failure to implement, a failure to actually get results using this strategy if you don't understand this, the strategy will not help you. So the number one reason why you would not get results with this and you won't execute on this plan at all is if you suffer from this imposter syndrome that a lot of people are suffering from. And the reason you might be suffering from imposter syndrome and not wanting to make content, not wanting to put your face out there, not wanting to, to share your voice is because you feel like whatever you're sharing has already been shared before. You've already heard it before somewhere else and so you don't want to repeat it again and risk coming off as unoriginal or risk people laughing at you and saying, ah, oh, you're a copycat. But the truth is the way you learn to speak English was by copying mom and dad. Your first words were probably either mama or dada. And so you're just copying what they said. And same with learning how to speak on YouTube. Same with making videos like this. You've just gotta hear something that's super inspirational and then make your own version of it and upload it just like I'm doing right now. In the same way that you go on YouTube and you watch guitar covers of your favorite songs or any sort of cover of your favorite song, it may not be an original song, but them doing the cover of it, you might even like that better than, than the original. So by you making content that you wanna make content about, even if it's already been said before, even if you're, you're, you're rehashing other people's ideas, it's coming across to the viewer as something that's authentic. It may not be original, they don't care, as long as it's authentic. So you've gotta get over that. You've gotta get over this sense of thinking that, oh, someone else has already said it, they're more credible than me, why would I repeat what's already being said? You wanna repeat what's already being said to remind yourself of it and to give people another chance to hear it because they probably haven't heard it from someone else before. You gotta overcome that first and then you'll be able to execute on this content strategy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you is exactly what I post so that you'll know what you can post as well. So my posts, my content, my video content, or my written content, it's broken up into four different types of pieces of content. And if I'm ever wondering what kind of content to post, I can just look at these four ideas and pick from one of them. So the first one is sharing my clients wins. Letting people know how Kyler got results or how Dan got results or how Susie got results or how Patrick got results. Just letting them know my client stories of how they went from not being successful and struggling and being confused to how they then had their aha moment, how they broke through, how they implemented the blueprint and now how they got results as a result of following the step-by-step -step guide. So by sharing my clients results, that's super, super helpful content. Everybody likes that. The second type of content that I like to make is any type of content that specifically helps solve a problem that people are having. So a problem, let's say I was in the dating niche. A problem that guys might be having is they don't know what to go up and say to a girl when they see a pretty girl walking down the street. So I'd make a video about what to say when you see a pretty girl walking down the street so that you don't come across as a creep or a loser. It's a problem a lot of guys suffer from, so I'd make a video solving that. All right, so the third type of content that I like to make is something that gets people closer to their desire. So whereas the second type of content I mentioned moves people away from their pain by solving a problem, this moves people closer to their desire a lot faster. So for example, somebody might not be having a problem with their membership site, but I could still make a video saying, here's how to launch a membership site within the next 24 hours. So someone might have the desire to launch a membership site, that piece of content could help them do it in 24 hours. So it just helps them get their desire a lot faster. No problem necessarily, just pleasure faster. And this fourth type of content is the type of content that I like to make the most. And it's a simple call to action post. It's a simple give post. It's a simple freebie post. I'm giving something away for free. So my framework that I like to follow with this is when I say something like, hey, I just created this thing that I know you really, really want. Do you want it? Comment below if you do. Or send me a DM with the word love if you do. So an example, hey, I just made a training on how to shoot three YouTube videos in 10 minutes or less. If you want that YouTube accelerator training, just comment YouTube down below and I'll send it over to you. Super simple, super effective, and it's an incredible way of just giving major value to your audience and getting some conversations started with prospects that could lead to clients. But the thing that all four of those types of content should have in common is they should all be helping the viewers get results in advance of ever working with you. Meaning those videos should be enough 
for your prospects and for your viewers to go on and get awesome results and even want to give you a testimonial based on their success before they've ever paid you any money whatsoever. Your free content should be better than most people's paid content. All right, so that's what to post. Now let's talk about how to post it, how to create it. I like to use a method called two mangoes, one hand as opposed to two birds with one stone, because why do you want to kill two birds? So the way to grab two mangoes with one hand when it comes to creating content is only make content for your paying clients. And if you don't have any paying clients, make content for your prospects. Make it specifically for them almost as a gift. So for example, let's say I have a paying client and she's struggling with keeping her members engaged on her membership platform. I could make a video specifically for her, teaching her how to keep her members more engaged. I could then upload that video to YouTube as content for everybody. So I made it for her, but I'm giving it to everybody. Or let's say I'm speaking with a prospect on the phone and the prospect doesn't want to sign up because they don't believe that they have what it takes because they're still overweight and they haven't lost as much weight as they want to lose just yet in order to teach weight loss. Well, I could go make a video now talking about how you personally don't need to have all the results in the world in order to help somebody else get results. You just need to be a couple levels ahead of them in order to help them out. So those are just a couple of examples of ways that you can turn existing conversations into inspiration for content. Either make content for your paying clients or for your prospects and then upload them to everyone everywhere. All right, so now let's talk about where to post this content. I have an awesome phrase that goes, if it's worth posting anywhere, it's worth posting everywhere. So if you're wondering where to post your content, well, think where do you want to post it first? You might feel inspired to write up an email, post it as an email, cool. But now copy paste that, post it in your school community. And now film a YouTube video using that as the script outline and post it on YouTube. And then take that same YouTube video and post it on Facebook. And then take that same video and send it out as another email. Like just post it absolutely everywhere. If you're on LinkedIn, post on LinkedIn. If you're on TikTok, post it on TikTok. Put it on Rumble, put it on Truth Social or whatever people are using nowadays. Just pump it everywhere. There's no point in being selective about where you're putting your content, just get it out. All right, so that is what to post, how to post it, and where to post it. But now let's talk about how to actually monetize from the content. So with every piece of content uploaded, you wanna make sure to include a call to action. A call to action just needs to be something simple like if you found this video helpful and you want help getting results even faster, go ahead and click the link below for my free accelerator program that helps you implement on the advice I just gave in this video. Or another example is, let's say I talk about the power of audiobooks when it comes to changing and reprogramming your subconscious mind. In that same video, I could then say, if you want my list of my top 10 audiobooks, just click the link below to grab those right now. And people would click and people would opt in. So in every single piece of content, you want to have a call to action. That call to action leads to a free thing, link in description, the link in bio, or, or you can even say, send me a DM and I'll send you the free thing. Whenever somebody takes you up on that call to action, they get the free thing. They should then be engaged in a conversation with you in some way, shape or form. So you should either email them or text them or call them or send them a DM as soon as they download your free thing. That conversation that you have with them can then lead to a phone call. If you feel like you can really help them and they really want your help, you get them on a phone call. From that phone call, you can determine if this person is somebody you can actually help or not. And if they wanna work with you, you can let them know about your programs. And when you let them know about your programs, they can either decide to buy on the call right now or they can buy later. But a percentage of the people will buy right then and there on the phone call and that's how you can actually monetize. So now that you've watched this video, you're probably wondering what now? Well, I've put together something called the CTA Mastery. It's called Call to Action Mastery. And it's a complete free course that shows you how to crush it with your call to actions inside of your content. And the reason I created it is because most people suck at making good call to actions to get people to click. So if you wanna become a CTA master so that every time you upload a piece of content, people actually engage on it and click and take action. If you want to master that, click the link below this video. It'll take you to CTA Mastery, the complete free course showing how to crush it with your call to actions. It's kind of like Inception here. I'm giving you a call to action about a call to action, but link is below. Check it out. You're going to love it. And if you made it this far into the video, you're a serious one. You're probably going to become one of the top 1% of content creators out there, but you've got to make sure to crush it with your call to actions as well. Otherwise, you could do all this work and not make any money from it at all. So the call to action is the bridge between content and making money. And CTA Mastery is down below. Check it out.